Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I will be showing how to get this everyday bun look that I do. Nothing too fancy, just a regular regular up bun. Um, I do have 4C hair, so it is a little bit more difficult for us to get our hair like this. So I just wanted to come and show you guys how I achieve this look and then how I swoop, swoop my baby hairs. So yeah, let's get into this and let's, let's, let's get it. Hey. Okay guys, so you want to start with some freshly washed or co-washed hair and I had just finished co-washing my hair so it's nice and clean. I did have some conditioner, a little bit of conditioner left in my hair so make sure you rinse it all out. And then we're going to go ahead and start forming or seeing where we want to put our bun. Right now I'm trying to get the back together and you will notice that the back of your head is probably one of the most difficult parts to keep up and slick down so I'm just going with my hands and seeing how high up I want that bun to be and I'm going to go in with my Eco Style Gel. This is the crystal one and I'm going to start applying that to my hair. You want to apply a really generous amount of this product because this is what's going to hold your hair down and in place. Now you want to take a coarse brush and you want to slick that hair down as much as possible. And you just want to continue this process all the way around your head until you are done. So I forgot to do this at the beginning, but you want to apply some oil to your hair. And right now I'm just applying some vitamin E oil because that's all I had around. And you want to saturate your hair in that as well because you don't want your bun to be looking crusty, sis. You don't want a crusty, busty bun. Not at all. Now I'm going in and applying some Eco Styler Gel to the ends of my hair. You don't want your bun to be crusty, so this is why we are taking these steps. You don't want to apply gel to the bottom of your hair and then not to your bun because it's going to look like you have two completely different textures and it's not going to look put together. Now we're going to go ahead and put our hair up in a bun. Now it might feel like you have a lot of product in your hair, which you do at this point, but it's necessary to get that hair up, baby. We have to get that 4C up somehow. And I'm just going back in and applying some extra gel where I feel like I need to, especially at the top in the back. So now we're going to tackle the beast. I take two hair ties because that's the only thing that holds my hair tight. And I'm going to grip the hair and take the hair ties and go around my hair one time. And then I'm going to twist it around and pull the hair through again. But this time I'm going to form my bun. Once I get the hair tie so far down, 
I start to twist the hair to the front so that I can make the bun look cuter. And whatever pieces of hair that's out, I just tend to wrap those around and tuck them under. Now I'm gonna take my Gorilla Snot. This is, I believe, the strongest hole they have. Yes, some more products, sis. And I'm going to apply not as much Eco Style Gel, but I'm gonna apply a pretty good amount of this. And what this does is it really seals that hair down to your head. Now I'm gonna go back in with my brush and brush that hair up in the back, make a slick rick, baby. And I'm just gonna brush all the way around my head, lay those hairs down, down, down. Now I'm gonna go in with this Edge Wax Extreme Hold. This is probably the only product that can hold my edges where they need to be, okay? So I definitely recommend this pro product. And now I'm gonna go in and take my little baby hairs and figure out which ones I wanna lay down by dragging them down a little bit. And then I'm gonna apply the edge wax and swoop them things. See that? Swoop. And I pretty much just play with my baby hairs until I get them how I want and take your time with this list because you want these baby hairs to be perfect and I'm gonna take a little sideburn down I like for this to be a little curly at the end so I take down just enough to lay the top down and then have a little curl at the bottom to make sure when you sweep your baby hairs to comb them back into the hair so that it is continuous because that will cause the baby hairs to come up if you do not comb it into the hair. So now you want to take a little bit of that gel and seal the ends of those swoops. Like I said, you want to comb that into your hair. So after you comb it into your hair, you want to go over and seal those ends of the baby hairs with that gel. Okay guys, so this is typically how I do my regular everyday bun. So, and then I lay my little baby hairs. You see, so, 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 so. Normally with this look, I like to put on some hoops some lip gloss this is my new new look no no so but yeah this is normally how I like to style my up bun as you can tell I did put a lot of work into getting this hair up because I do have 4c hair it's very difficult to get my hair up sometimes it's not like that all the time if it's 100% wet then it's very easy to work with the only thing is that water will be dripping down my neck almost all day until it dries. So that's the only negative about that. 
and doing a dry you have to really work with it so if like you've seen before I really had to work with my hair but other than that this is the this is how it looks you can beef your bun up as much as you want I don't really beef mine up that much I just kind of let it do what it do but yeah you can shape it how you want um but yeah this is how I get my everyday bun look so thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time bye